I had actually just texted Mo that I was on my way home. I just got out of work. It was actually a decent time for once. And one of our employees informed me that there was a police officer outside. Hi. Hi. What can I help you with? Uh, we have a problem. There was a woman at the French Quarter Festival who had collapsed and was rushed off to the hospital. Unfortunately, she had her two dogs with her. OK. This woman was by herself and had to leave her dogs behind and all of the, the chaos and the craziness of the French Quarter. So we'll hop in the vehicle and we'll follow you. available right now to help me with a rescue in the French Quarter. I'm pregnant and we have to grab not one dog, but two dogs. There was just no way that this was something that I was going to go into by myself. I'm at the store right now. Oh, perfect, because I think it's not far from the store. Yeah, I can walk down there. It's literally like two blocks from me. I didn't know what I was going to be getting into. I didn't know if these dogs were going to be frantic, be aggressive. So I'm just really happy that Mariah was available for backup. We're on our way. We're probably a few minutes out. There were police everywhere, and there were ambulance, and there were people yelling. OK, I just pulled up. I'm literally in front of the fires. I see the lights right here. Yep. I'll be there in two seconds. All right. Bye. I'm definitely concerned with all of this chaos that these dogs may be panicked. Yeah, this is madness. The cop who escorted us over to the French Quarter let me know that they had the two dogs in one of the patrol cars. Oh, here they are. They're in here, Mariah. With everything going on down here, they're probably so freaked out. So I really had no idea what to expect when we opened that door. Are they big? I got it on around my wrist, too, so I'm ready. I got your back. Yeah, well, hey. Good job. Oh. Look at I think because it was like a, the whole police escort thing happening, my adrenaline kind of kicked in, and I didn't know what to expect. They're very friendly, yeah. yeah and out pop these two big, fluffy, friendly dogs wearing tutus, and I definitely was not expecting that. Yeah, Come on, baby. Thank you so much. On the front as well. OK, let me pull this up. What happened to the owner? She passed out or oh, something okay. happened at the uh, fest. Yeah. But of course, they could take the dogs of to the course. hospital. The police officers had no idea what hospital the woman went to, why she went, but they did have her name and her phone number. <laughs> First name is Risha. Yeah. Okay, got it. Thank Thanks you for so him. much. Of course. of course. I'm extremely thankful to the police officers that helped us tonight because without them, these dogs could be strays. They could have been hit by a car. They could have been stolen. OK, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Every single officer that helped us tonight was just so sweet with us and so sweet with the dog. You know how to get back. I do, yeah. thank you. All right, we'll get you out here in a second. Oh my god, I love him so much. I'm sure being left behind like that had to be a bit traumatic for them. We'll take these dogs back to our facility, and hopefully their owner is OK and she recovers quickly. Ever since Lizzie and Mariah picked up the two dogs in the French Quarter, we have been leaving message after message trying to see if their owner is OK. Hi, I'm Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. My name is Rachel Marinovich, and I'm here to be reunited with my two dogs, Jersey and Sasha. Um, are you OK? Are you, how are I, you feeling? It, it was a low blood pressure thing, and okay. I ended up like passing out, so they brought me to the emergency room. Well, I'm glad that you're doing, you're doing better. I'm fine. I, I would have been a complete wreck. I don't remember the actual passing out, but God, it was horrifying. I was borderline hysterical. You know, I just wanted to be with my dogs, and I was just afraid that somebody had just taken them and just wasn't going to bring them back. That's tough. That's hard. Yeah. Um, but they're totally fine. Yes. They're Thank great. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to go grab them. OK, great. I just felt so incredibly relieved that my dogs had been found and that they were someplace that I could go pick them up. That's my girls. I think oh, they know that you're here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come here, Jersey. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, that's my sweetheart. 
my sweetheart. <laughs> this is mama's girl. <laughs> I was just so excited to see them. We just have such a bond together and I was just so excited that I would be able to see them again. So, <laughs> oh. they're such great dogs. They were a pleasure to have, and I'm so glad that they're, they're going you. home and that they have somebody who loves them. <laughs> I love reuniting dogs with their owners. It definitely doesn't happen enough, but when it does, it's like such a magical, special moment.